And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended, quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. With little law left in the wasteland, the Brooms continued to defend themselves against the prospectors and scavengers invading their territory. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. While the destruction of the Repcon rockets appeared to be a boon to the salvagers of Novak, the benefit would never be realized. Radioactive fuel from the wrecked ships seeped out and contaminated the area. Salvagers were forced to move on, and the town was abandoned. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.